Hey, Nerdy Sports Fan here. So, we're continuing our series of regrading the 2017 draft. So, we did the AFC East already. We're getting into the NFC East. Um, I'd like to remind you that if you enjoy this content, like and subscribe, please. Uh, but let's get into these New York Giants. Now, the Giants obviously had some turnover more recently in the um, coaching area. Uh, but generally speaking, they, they've been an even keel franchise. Um, they had Eli Manning for so long. That really saved a lot of jobs in the front office and the coaching department. So they haven't had a heck of a lot of turnover. They're hoping to get back to that. Okay. And at, in spite of everybody bashing what Gettleman's been doing recently um, with the Daniel Jones deal, he ended up being kind of right. I mean, we'll see with Daniel Jones. He just, he looked like the right guy. But, you know, three years ago, we have to look back at these things because, well, you don't really know what these guys are until they've been in the league for a few years. So 2017, you start things off with the uh, 23rd pick in the first round, and you end up selecting tight end Evan Ingram. Now, Evan Ingram is, oh, he's easily a top five tight end when he's healthy, caveats when he's healthy. The guy has been injured quite a bit in his career to this point. Um, I really hope that he, he kind of shakes the injury bug because knowing what Jason Witten was able to do in Jason Garrett's offense, I think Ingram's going to be fine. I really do. I, I think the entire offense is going to go forward and be great. Their big deal was fixing the offensive line. You know, they've they figure that out. So hopefully Evan Ingram stays healthy. But the guy is rock solid. And again, one of the top five tight ends in the league when he's healthy. So on from there in round two, pick number 55, uh, you got Dalvin Tomlinson. Now, is he a household name? No, not at all. But he's a solid interior defensive lineman. I think that... Um, you really just need, at this point, serious edge rush. You know, you've got the middle of the defensive line really shored up. Tomlinson was a good get at that point in the draft, and he's developing well. So, you know, get some edge rush with what you have in the middle. Going to look like a pretty good defense. So, on from there, pick number 87 in round three, Davis Webb. Still in the league. Third string quarterback at best. He, he's with the Bills right now. So maybe fourth string considering they just drafted Jake Fromm. Probably practice squad. I think that's what he did last year. Uh, just he's still in the league. He's barely hanging on. This is kind of a wasted pick. I mean, he did actually draw a start. Um, but you had Manning. He was coming off of good seasons. You know, maybe the Giants knew more than what everybody else did at the time because Manning really started to tail off after this. Uh, but really, there was no need for a quarterback at this point. I kind of hate it when people draft quarterbacks in the third round, fourth round. It's, you know, if he's your guy, fucking get him early. And if he's not your guy, you can get a backup in the sixth, okay? Just, it was a useless pick. So, on from there, Wayne Gallman. Um, this is a weird one. Uh, he's actually solid, you know? And, and honestly, if you didn't draft Saquon Barkley, the guy might be your starter still. So, I, I don't really have a problem with this pick. He, he's going to be hanging on with the Giants for a while. Um, you know, you can't just run Saquon Barkley and pass to Saquon Barkley all the damn time. You're going to wear all the tread off the tire. So, Gallman's still got... A very good use on this team. That's why he's still with the Giants. Now, on from there, round five, 167, Avery Moss. This guy's still in the league, but he's with the Dolphins. And he's at best like a third stringer. So, meh. But you don't really expect much out of sixth rounders. And uh, lastly, you wrap, I'm sorry, fifth rounders. Um, you wrap things up in the sixth round. You didn't have a seventh round draft pick. Uh, Adam Binswadi. Uh, Biznawadi? Biznaudi? 
Doesn't matter. Guy's in the XFL, which means he's not employed right now. So throw away picks at the end of the draft. It's kind of to be expected. So you're really looking at those earlier picks. Gallman, really good value where you got him. Um, the only worry really here is the injury bug that's bitten uh, Evan Ingram and the fact that Davis Webb was really a throwaway. Overall, though, I mean, you got some solid talent out of this draft. You only had six picks and got three decent guys that are going to be filling a real need on the team and not just fill-ins. I mean, they're actually going to be doing something for your team. So overall, this is a B-. Um, this actually is the start of a good trend of rebuilding these Giants. They've had a few good drafts in a row, in my estimation. So they really just need these guys to develop. And I think they can be solid. The problem is the rest of the NFC East is either in win-now mode or, you know, well, you got Washington. They're going to be pushovers for a while. But, yeah, with, with the Eagles and the Cowboys being in win-now mode, you really need these draft classes to start figuring things out now. Which means you need people like Evan Ingram to be healthy and stay that way. So... It's kind of dicey, but, you know, hopefully Judge puts things together well. And, you know, Jason Garrett doesn't trip all over himself. I mean, the human clapper does run a good offense. He just could not manage game day to save his ass. Now he's got Joe Judge to do that, who's coming from the Bill Belichick school. So hopefully he knows what the hell he's doing, because there have been a handful of Bill Belichick guys that have come in as a head coach and not been ready for the job. All right, um, Matt Patricia comes to mind. That guy's a chump. Don't know why Detroit still has him employed. And, uh, yeah, what? You, you got Romeo Cornell, Sam, um, not Sam Weich. It'll come to me. But either way, the Belichick tree's not necessarily been the greatest. So I hope Joe Judge really has his head on straight and knows how to manage game day. Because his coordinators certainly do not. And, man, the Giants just need somebody to put this team in the right direction without being too much of a freaking slave driver like Coughlin was. Um, but, yeah, again, uh, like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Hit up my uh, other channel if you enjoy the video game content that I used to post here, the Nerd E Sports fan. I know. Clever, right? Um, and, lastly, check me out on Patreon. Uh, soon enough, we're all going to be drafting our fantasy football teams, and I'm going to have a lot of things going there to help people with setting their boards, uh, setting their week-to-week -week lineup. I mean, if you need help with that sort of thing and you just want to absolutely demolish your league, I'm your guy. Thanks for watching, fellas.